For our spider, we'll be using an 11 inch round that I've blown out to about 8 or 9 inches. And as you can see, when I tied the knot, I tied it up close to the nozzle, so I have some excess hair uninflated. I've got a 5 inch round that I've blown out to about 3 or 4 inches, and I've taken the liberty of drawing a face on it. And I've got two 160s, each with about an inch left uninflated on the tails. We're going to start with our 11 inch round. What I want to do is squeeze it out, kind of soften it. And then we're going to pull a small bubble, this is where it's really fun sometimes, off up close to the nozzle. There we go. About a two inch bubble there. And it's important not to make this too large because we're going to work with this. We're going to take the knot, bring it around up, and make this a large pinch twist. And then we're going to take that pinch twist and divide it into two bubbles. Like that. And we're going to take our five inch round. We're going to twist the nozzle into these two pinch twists. And that's going to be the head and body of our spider. We're going to set that aside. Now we're going to take our 160s. We're going to take our first one and we're going to twist about a six inch bubble, a small half inch bubble, and then make that into a pinch twist. And then about a five inch bubble. I want this one a little shorter than the other. And then we're going to make another bubble the same size as that one we just made. Another small half inch bubble. Make that a pinch twist. And then one more bubble, the same size as this first one we started with. What we're making is a pair of legs. Now once you've got that, we're going to pop this off, but we want to keep the rest of this inflated because we're going to get two pairs of legs out of each 160. So tie that off. That's one pair of legs. Now for our second pair out of this one, we'll repeat the process. And these are going to be slightly smaller. Same process, make your first bubble. Second bubble a little smaller than the first. Repeat that bubble. And then your pinch twist. And if you guessed it right, those two should be pretty close to the same size. There's another pair of legs. Let's go ahead and attach these legs. You'll see where we're going, so we're going to take that twist in the middle legs and we're going to twist that into those two pinch twists there. I'll just take one of them and wrap it around and cross them over. And then we're going to grab the other pair of legs and do the same thing. And as you can see, he's starting to look like a nice little spider. I think we're just going to repeat the process with our other 160. This is the first set of legs I made. Just like that. Divide it off. We're going to keep the second part inflated. Go ahead and put this pair of legs on here. As you can see, it's starting to really take shape now. And then our last pair of legs. Same process as before. A lot of repetition in this guy is all it is. And again, just about right. Attach our last pair of legs. And then you'll just have to work a little bit to position them where they're all going to stay in place. What I usually find that I'll have to do is put two up high and 
two down low. And it gives it that sort of like he's walking look where some of the legs are up or he's walking, some of the legs are down. And there you go, a spider.